and we're back. After your extensive research on platforms you are interested in publishing your books on, you should have a good idea of what kind of covers appear in your story's genre. Now we need to create a simple template to work from. Here I have a template for a paranormal romance. First things first, you want to make sure you have a background color. You, you just don't want to have a blank background or have one that's a stark white. You want to at least be easy on your eyes. Then for the title, you see that it's very large and situated in the center or maybe a little bit off center. That's something usually big that you want to have, especially since that's what the title is. Next thing you have is the author name at the bottom. Sometimes it can be situated on top, but I did like the layout of the one that is at the bottom and I needed to make sure that it was big enough to read. So you're going to make sure you extend the text size to be able to fit all the way across. At least that's what I've seen that really pops out for me. Then there are some romances that are a part of a series or have a subtitle. You can always put it at the bottom, maybe inside of a ribbon, or you can situate it at the top. Just be sure not to take away from the title or the author name. I like to separate it. That's just me. Uh, you may find that these things can change uh, for covers over time because, you know, it might be years away from when I made this particular class or you can just decide to do things outside the box because you want to set some new rules. Now that we have a basic cover title laid out, we can now move on to sketching up some cover options for the background. So again, you want to go back to your research, make sure you check to see what's mostly on the covers, what usually is at the top 100, and then go from there. Like I said, you can change the rules if you want to. That's absolutely fine because these trends had to be set somehow, right? See you in the next lesson.